All right, sweet. So uh, we got Yaya Rodriguez, uh, technically the interim champion, fighting Alexander Volkanovsky, the pound for pound number one in many people's eyes. Uh, this is an incredible matchup for the featherweight belt. I'm very excited for this. Uh, you know, obviously Volkanovski super technical in every facet of MMA and really good at stitching them together in his game. I think I, I personally put him at number one pound for pound. That fight with Islam was razor thin and, uh, you know, Volkanovski looked great in that fight. Um, and, you know, he, he's really one of those guys that has a complete game plan and will use it in different ways to attack his opponent's weaknesses. Very like George St. Pierre-esque. You know, uh, and the fact that, you know, he'll strike a strike or he'll strike a grappler and grapple a striker. You know what I mean? Uh, but he's not afraid to grapple grapplers or strike with strikers either. Like he's he's very well rounded and he likes to test himself. Uh, I'm, I'm a huge fan. His jab is phenomenal. His leg kicks phenomenal. He has great wrestling and ground and pound game when he wants to go to it. That's how he kind of came up in the UFC was with that uh, ground and pound and wrestling. And, uh, you know, he's coming off of that that fight camp against Makachev where I'm sure he did a lot of wrestling. He did a lot of uh, groundwork, you know, um, and, you know, he's always fighting guys that are taller than him. I don't think he's ever fought somebody his size. Maybe Chad Mendes, probably the only one in the UFC. Um, so he has no problem fighting somebody that's longer and reachier than him. But in there lies some trouble because Yair is definitely the fastest guy he's ever fought. And he's also very lethal on the feet. Uh, Yair poses a lot of interesting problem or questions to uh, Alexander Volkanovsky's game, uh, namely, uh, without giving out too much of the analysis too early, the the kicking game of Yair I think is going to be a big factor in this fight. Uh, most fights that Volkanovsky's in, he's the guy that does the kicking. You know, you see the fights with with uh, Holloway, he lands like some crazy amount of leg kicks throughout that trilogy. Um, you know, even against Makachev, he was throwing some good kicks, but he can use his hands when he wants to. So. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see him against Yair, who the kicking is uh, definitely on his side in this matchup. Um, Yair is super fast, super snappy, uh, very very much a wild man on the feet, but these last few performances, he's really honed it down and uh, made a, uh, a lot of improvements as far as his composure goes and his shot selection in the pocket and in certain phases of the fight where he, like, you know, he might not have been able to find something Earlier in his career, he probably would have spazzed out. Now he seems a lot more better equipped to land in those uh, in between exchanges and you know land head kicks off the break of the clinch and stuff like that. You know pressure with his kicks, pressure with knees and stuff. And uh, I think that's going to give Volkanovski a lot of problems in this fight. I don't know if it's going to be enough to take the belt home, but uh, I like I like Rodriguez's chances, especially at underdog odds. Uh, how do you feel about this matchup? Oh, man, you know I'm all in on the great Alexander Volkanovsky. Uh, man, I think, I mean, but, I mean, to be fair to Volkanovsky, it's not like he takes anybody lightly. Like, any interview hmm. you, that you see him in, and no matter who he's, you know, matched up again, he's always giving people well props. He's training like he's, you know, their potential threats. And, um, you know, he recognizes that Yair is a real threat, and I think that's going to be what gets it done because I I love the the comparison to George St. Pierre because he really does remind me of George St. Pierre in his approach his um you know looking at it as a you know a puzzle to solve how how can mm-hmm. I meet this guy with the tools that I have so I I really do see Volt just going in there utilizing his grappling getting him down neutralizing Yair's uh, you know I think superior striking um I just don't think I don't see him getting it going. I see him maybe being able to win a round or two, um, but I can see Volk really dominating a solid three three rounds of this fight. Whether he can put him away because Yair is tough, um, you know that's to be questioned. But I got Volk all day on this one, man. Yeah, I mean, I think I think logic and reason you have to go with Volkanovski. He's the more proven guy against these uh, you know high level dudes. I mean, Rodriguez has fought you know a lot of great. Uh, talent for sure. He fought, you know, Max Holloway, Brian Ortega, uh, most recently Josh Emmett, and you know the list goes on and on. He's fought a who's who for sure. But uh, Volkanovski has dominated all those guys uh, in a really bad way. Um, where Rodriguez had a lot of trouble against Holloway, especially in the wrestling department, and I think that's going to be a big factor in this fight for Volkanovski, like you said. Um, you know, Yair has shown some defensive ref- wrestling. Uh, you know, uh, holes in his game. Uh, he, he's kind of 
you know, it's it lends itself to to him getting taken down. His wild kicking lends himself to get getting taken down. You know, um, that being said, Volkanovski has shown some trouble against southpaws who kick, and Yair can kick from both sides. He loves throwing that left body kick and then switching it up to the left high kick. Uh, if you remember in the uh, Holloway fight, in the second one, the closest one of the trilogy, uh, Volkanovski got dropped with a head kick at one point. Uh, Holloway was using his hands to set it up, but you know Yair could very well use his feet and his uh, movement to set it up as well. Um, and against Makachev, he also showed some susceptibility to that left body kick. Uh, again, though, these are you know the best fighters in the world, um, and and Volkanovski even still was able to, well, in in the Holloway case, win the fight, in the Makachev case, make it a very close fight. Uh, but I think those are tools that Yair can use in this fight to uh, get some success. I think uh, I think that left body kick is going to be a very good weapon for him. And on the other side, I think Volkanovski's ground and pound. I think this, if he pulls it out, if he uh, you know pulls out the wrestling game and makes it look like the Ortega fight or even some of his early UFC performances, um, I think it's going to be a long night for Yair. Uh, I don't know if he'll get the finish, like you said, because Yair is as tough as they come. He's one of those guys that are like invincible, like Marlon Chito Vera or Yoel Romero. Um, but I think Volkanovski can definitely rack up some rounds with the wrestling, especially coming off of this camp against Makachev, where I'm sure he was doing a lot of grappling work and a lot of you know staying either way all the way out or all the way in. And I think those tools are going to be very important against Yair. Um, <clears throat> and Yair's, uh, I don't think it was his most recent loss, but his most recent stoppage loss, maybe his only stoppage loss, actually, now I'm thinking about it, uh, was against uh, Frankie Edgar. Uh a few years ago, uh, but I think Edgar's uh, body type and his game plan in that fight is something that Volkanovski would be very smart to implore in this fight. Of course, Yair has improved a lot since that that time. That you know that was that was a long time ago. I think it was 2015 or so. But um, that doesn't mean that uh, somebody who's way better, uh, you know, like like Volkanovski won't be able to employ those same tools against Dyer. And uh, I think we'll, we'll, we'll come up on that theme again later in the pod when we talk about the Moreno fight, but you know, people do change, but some of their old habits uh, tend to die hard, you know? So uh, I, I do like Volkanovski in this fight. I'm going to end up siding with him. Uh, the, the prop line or the, the money line rather is at minus minus three sixty, So not a ton of value. You can get on him by way of straight betting, but uh I think going by him by decision is a good pick because, like we said, Yair is very tough to finish, and Volkanovski knows how to win rounds. You know, he, if anything, he's he's a dog in there, and he knows uh, he he like never will stop fighting. You know what I mean? He has a supreme will to win, which we saw in that Ortega fight, which we saw in the Makachev fight, and uh, I think as the fight goes on, he's going to keep building and uh, learning patterns and stuff from Yair, and uh, I would be very surprised if he doesn't win the fourth and fifth round in this matchup. Uh, so I'm going with Volkanovski by decision. That's my pick. They have it at plus 120, so pretty good value there on a minus 400 favorite or so. Um, what do you, Who are you taking in this one, uh, Jordan? You're taking Volk? Yeah, I'm taking Volk decision. I think that's probably the smartest one because, like I said, money line, you're not going to get too much of a, a value on that one. 